Hey guys. Everybody's hey, laughing over here. Hey Keith. That's because we're having a good time drinking great wine. I love having a good time. I love drinking good wine. I like that too. And we are But Hold It. I'm Brian. I'm Keith. I'm Derek. And this is DenverWineGuys.com. So here we are today in Centennial, Colorado, right? And we're at a facility that we, you, you can make wine. And Derek is the guy that owns it. And the company, the name of the company is Water to Wine. Right? Right. And so for I mean, those viewers that, you know, like to think of themselves as being handy, I can make my own beer, I can make my own wine, but don't quite know all the steps. Here's the man that can help you with each and every yeah. one of those steps. And he can help you and 10 other friends or 50 friends. or That's the cool thing because there's this big facility. And you just come in here and make wine. And there's so much you can do. You can, you can make it. You can bottle it. You can put labels on it. And... And we're not, so we're not critiquing wine today. We're talking about. Oh, I think we should critique this wine. You think? Now, now, if I understand wait, correctly, wait. Wait. Now, now, Derek, <laughs> our, our our viewers can come in and just buy wine too. Is that right? Absolutely. So, yeah, we we produce about 80, 80 85 different wines at any one time. Um, we have our own private label out front um, that they can come in, taste the wine, and take it home with them. Uh, we felt like that was really important because right. you walk into the big liquor stores, if you don't know precisely what you're looking for, right. um, you buy a pretty label and, and you roll the dice. So everything here is available for tasting up front. Uh, and like I said, they can buy a bottle. We do a discount for a six-pack or a case, right. mixed any way they want. But yeah, the fun of it is to get your hands dirty and, and uh, you know bring your friends in and you know yuck it up a little bit. And, yeah. and we're gonna we're gonna show a little bit. Um, later, uh, how we go about doing the, the bottling and, and the process. But um, before we we get into that, the um, tell us a little bit about the the wines. Like you were discussing earlier with me, how you've got the three different segments. You know, sure. you've got the estate bottles, and we really try and have wine for everybody. Um, whether you're you know a wine aficionado or um, just getting into wines. So we have fresh fruit compress style wines like a peach apricot chardonnay. For you know the wine beginners or people that just really like a I wine over house. ice on the <laughs> on the back porch, um, we have uh, regional style table wines. We have a selected international series, not estate wines because we're dealing with two different vineyards. Okay. Um, the estate wines, single growth vineyards, and then our crush series and EP where they're single growth vineyards, but they also ship us um, five pounds of skins that we re. Um, macerate during primary fermentation to beef the wines up a little bit. Which is a really an interesting concept, and I would like to talk to you more on that, too. But before we even get there, um, i got some questions for you. You know, the, um, the Monte Pulciano, we got, you know, some Italian regionals. There's Brunello. In fact, I'm Is that what you got in your glass? I've got Brunello in here right now, which okay. tastes wonderful. But is the juice coming from those regions? I mean, are you shipping that juice? Yes, uh, in, in most cases. In, in our... Um, our menu will state that. So the Montepulciano that you tried earlier is actually um, an American-style Montepulciano. Uh, the Brunello comes from, you know, Italy. The Barbera that I'm drinking is from Italy as well, or Super Tuscans from, from Italy. So it, it really depends on which category of wine that we're talking about and and where as to where we get the, the juice. Okay, so the, the estate series that we were talking about, the, the third segment of wines that you make and sell here, does that juice then truly come from? Yes. Like, if I'm not, I'm not saying that you you get Opus juice, but <laughs> but, if, but if if you were to get a winery's juice, you're you're getting truly their estate. Absolutely. Yeah. If I want, if I'm a consumer and I want something from Stag's Leap, yep, district, can you get that Stag's Leap Merlot? We carry it every day. Right. And as opposed to um, thirty to thirty-five dollars retail, um, our retail is twenty-one ninety-five. Right. Right. So. Uh, we actually had the distributor in right. uh, one of our shops, and she said, how can you use that name? We said, well, it comes from the same vineyard, right? I mean, it's, it is you what buy it juice. is. We buy juice. So right. It's, it's, uh, there's a huge secondary market out there, and a lot of the, the big vineyards don't want to talk about it. They right. don't want anybody to know that they're growing all this fruit and selling half of it off right. to other vineyards or other wineries. Yeah, exactly. And there's a lot of farmers out there. We've had this discussion before where there are farmers that – Grow grapes and sell it off. Mm -hmm. So, um, what else? What else we got? Here, B man. I want to know what you're drinking. It's 
an ice wine. Ice wine, right? Now, now we want to make clear, this clear, okay? That's not a nice wine. It's an ice, ice, it's it's an ice, ice wine. wine. Ice wine. Right. And, and this but, would be but there's no there's no ice in this wine. There's no. <laughs> Which, Which is makes good. it very nice. <laughs> Uh, this is from the Niagara region in uh, okay in Canada, right? So it's it's become kind of a big thing up there when they get the the first frost, you know, leave the the uh, grapes on the vine and, and discard the uh, the extra water content that's in the grape and really condense that juice. And the varietals are uh, this is a Riesling, okay, straight Riesling. Now I have another one that's a Cab Franc as well, okay, for people that like a little <laughs> it's a little drier dessert wine, right? Which is kind of an oxymoron, right? Well, off dry or no, no, it's still really, 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 really sweet. sweet. <laughs> but it's a little dry. Okay. What, what, what's the other grape um, in Niagara that they use in making ice wine? Not the Rieslings, not the. They do lots of Chardonnay. Nah, there's a there's another one that's a, really kind of specific to Canada. They're making ice wines. And most people think of German wines and using German Vidal. Vidal. Vidal, because yeah. they're doing a lot of that on yeah. the west coast too. Yeah. 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 They, and they use that as a really nice blending grape in, in a lot of, uh, uh, of our whites that we do. Um, and it's, it's a fantastic little grape. So this is one of your wines. This is Lodi right. Old Vine Red Zin. This is one of the wines in a bottle. Um, when you come here to water the wine, you can you can just, like we said, like Derek said earlier, you can just purchase a bottle of wine. It doesn't You don't necessarily have to come here and make your own wine. You can come here and buy it. And again, I'll drink it right here if you want. Exactly. And can you taste like six, seven days a week? Uh, we can. We, I've chosen to only be open five because I have okay. a wife and a daughter, so I want to have a life too. But right. Tuesday through Saturday um, during the week, 11 to 7, and on Saturday, 11 to 6, um, everything that we have that's on the shelf is available for tasting. You know, this, this sounds like a lot of fun. I want to make sure we're clear on this too. So again, our viewers. So if you decide that you do want to come in to water to wine and make some wines, you can actually purchase a bottle, drink it right here while you're making the wine. You bet. So you can really have some fun with fun with this. Yeah, with all your friends and stuff. Yep. And our guarantee is, if you choose this particular um, Old Vine Zin, right, 100% um, money back guarantee. This is exactly what it will taste like. If you come back and bottle and you decide that mm, doesn't quite taste right, I'll do one of two things. I'll give you your money back, or we'll do another batch. And in, in two years, um, we've had to do that one time. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. So let me show. I, I and I just want to show the labels real quick. We got three bottles here. So this is the this is the water to wine label. This is the label mm -hmm. for your company. And, and this wine is gonna cost. Um, our wines range from 9.95 up to 26.95. This particular one that he's holding is 23. See now that that's fantastic. Knowing knowing just that 26 dollars is still not out of the the price range I think in which most people are looking to buy today. Right. And then these next two wines are private label wines, right? Right. So when our customers come and do their wines, right. uh, they not only get to make the wine, but they also get to private label it however they choose. Any kind of picture. It doesn't matter. Anything. Uh, whether you're a graphic artist or you just want to take a picture of, uh, of you and your wife getting married and, and you're going to have a right. wedding wine. Or a picture of your daughter my or daughter. son. Yeah. And this is your daughter. That's my daughter. Yeah. He put his daughter on the label. That's really cool. You save it, and she can open it. And she's, I mean, you know, well, but you can. Could, yeah. Yeah. The one thing about our wines, we use about 20 times fewer sulfides in our wines. Okay. So the shelf life is really not, we're not making wines to be racked for 20 years. That's not my marketplace. Gotcha. My marketplace is, you know, our reds will go five years on the shelf, our whites will go threes, three years. Right. We're really making wine to be consumed today. Now, what about etching? Somebody wanted to etch something on a bottle. Could you yes. I have a friend here in town that etches, uh, and we've done uh, a lot of logos, corporate logos, okay. for you know giveaways at the holidays or thank yous to their employees and things like that. Right. Yeah. Very good. Well, um, again, we're at Water to Wine in Centennial, and we're going to wrap this segment up, and we're going to come back, and we're going to talk about um, the process, and we're going to sh show our folks how Derek makes wine. And, and hopefully we'll get to try something else. One. Something else. There's something wrong with that one. There's a hole in the top. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to come back and try some, something else, and we're going to talk to Derek more and uh, look at the process and, and check out his facility. And so we're at, again, Water to Wine. What's your website is? www.watertowine.us. .us. Watertowine.us is the website. And all the hours are on there and the tasting hours and 
I'm sure you have information about the, the bottles. Absolutely. Pricing's on there, all the wines that we're carrying, okay. um, all that. Very good. But for now, I'm Keith. I'm Brian. I'm Derek. And this is DenverWineGuys.com. We'll see you again.